Hey, I'm back. Gonna do another real life review. This is a short review of the Alto style frames from Bose. And I wanna tell you the good and the bad and why I'm returning them. So let's start out with the good. Uh, I, I like the style of these. They are um, kind of old school and kind of horn rim glass type of thing. And so let's talk about the good. I, I like the way they look. My wife's not a fan of them, but I like them. So let's take a look at these a little bit closer. So things I really liked about this were the, uh, the actual sunglasses themselves. Uh, I like the way they felt. I like, um, you know, as far as being providing shade for my eyes. Some sunglasses uh, alter things. These were really clear and. Um, they felt good to my eyes, and so that was a pleasant surprise. Even though they're not polarized, um, they blocked a lot of sun, and any of the glare that would come up uh, was pretty manageable. I was really happy with those. Uh, they're light and comfortable. You can see that they uh, look a little bit bulky, but the plastic is, is very light, and I, I didn't have any unusual feeling like, oh, these things are so heavy, it's dragging my head down. So that was really nice. The Bluetooth connectivity was excellent. Uh, it paired up with my phone, no problem. And it stayed connected, no problem. And I really ne never had any issues with whether I was using it on a phone call or whether I was just listening to music. This is a voice call test of the Bose Frames sunglasses. Uh, to be clear, I am not recording directly to my phone, but what I'm using is I'm using my phone. I called myself. Obviously, the line's busy because I just called myself, and I'm leaving myself a voice message. This should give me an indication of how my voice call sounds to somebody else who received a call from me. I'm sitting in a quiet room right now, and uh, there is no noise. It's the same environment as my test with the QC35 too. I do take a commuter train during the week and I'm curious to see what the call quality is on a voice call if I'm on the train. So I'm going to use a site called mynoise.net and uh, they have a train commuter gener noise generator. I'm going to turn it on now to uh, 70 decibels, which is about what the level of the train is that I'm actually on. So now there is uh, background noise, about 70 decibels of background noise running on my computer from my noise.net. So if I were on a phone call, the receiving party would hear what we are hearing now. I'm going to shut it off now. So I'll be curious to see what this sounds like. I'll do another voice test with just recording directly to the phone, uh, not making a voice call to see what that, call, or what that um, sound quality is. This concludes the test of the Bose Frames sunglasses. This is a test of the Bose Frames sunglasses. I'm recording directly to my phone using the Voice Memos app on an iPhone, and I'm sitting in a quiet room. I'm curious to see what this sounds like in this scenario. I'm also going to turn on my sound generator, just as I did with my voice call. Uh, which produces which sounds like train noises. It's a noise generator from mynoise.net and it puts out about 70 decibels of noise in the background. So I'm going to turn that on now. So I'm curious to see if I would be able to hear myself. So if I was on a phone call or not a phone call, but if I was recording directly to my phone or uh, other device, how much interference it would have in the background. I'm just going to shut the noise off now, and um, and now I'm back to a quiet room. This concludes my test of the Bose Frames sunglasses. Uh, super easy to shut off if you just take them off. You set them upside down like this for a few seconds, or just hold them up, up like this, and it uh, shuts them off. So it saves the battery. The battery on it, it lasted okay. It's not something where you're going to go out for a bicycle ride for, you know, like a, a, a road road bike and be gone for hours at a time. Um, probably three and a half hours, if I remember correctly. I didn't ever have any issues with the battery myself.
the sound on this thing is really good. I was really surprised. Now, I hear other people talk about, they're like, oh, the sound is amazing. You know what? It's okay, in my opinion. It kind of sounded to me, if I were going to compare it, um, two things. One is, if you had the old style headphones, um, you, know, you know, like the Apple earbuds, the kinds that were round and flat that don't go into the ear canal, um, that's kind of the sound. There's a good crisp, clear sound, but there's almost no bass. Comparable to my iPhone, when I play my iPhone without, well, just, if I just use it for the speakers, then the sound is kind of like that. Um, you can see the speakers here at the back, down at the bottom. So the sound was clear and crisp and easy to hear, surprisingly easy to hear, with very little sound leakage. So I had to have them up pretty loud in order for other people to hear. I could turn it up full blast and it wouldn't hurt my ears, but it's plenty loud. Probably around 75 to 85% was plenty loud for me on anything I did. Super easy to pair. And for me, it was really good for riding my bicycle or uh, jogging or walking because I could hear everything around me. I didn't have any problems with that. What are the bad things? Why do I want to send these things back? Number one, there's very limited usage for me. I mean, yeah, they're, they're nice sunglasses. They work well, um, but they're sunglasses. And how often do I wear sunglasses? One of the problems I found is, okay, so I'm wearing these sunglasses. I think, okay, I'll wear them while I'm driving and, and uh, I can hear everything around me because so, it's not in my ears. So it's not that much different than having the radio playing. I get out of my car, I go into the store, I'm going to take the sunglasses off. Uh, I want to hear the music. Now, with my earbuds, I can go into the store with my AirPods, walk around, still enjoy my music, and do my shopping at the same time. But with these, I mean, am I going to walk around the store with these on? I don't think so. So what do I do with them? Well, they're a little bit bulky to, to fold up and you know hang from your collar and your shirt. I mean, it's pretty, pretty bulky. Um, you can put them on the top of your head and stuff. You know, some of those things. I just found it a little awkward and cumbersome because just because of the bulk. And it's, it's not huge, but it's enough to make a difference for me. I found the sound to be good, but it's not great. My AirPods sound better. And I tended to use the AirPods instead. And they're kind of big. And I just wasn't sure what to do with them. Really the bottom line on this, why am I returning them? I just tended not to use them. I, I thought, okay, if I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to wear my sunglasses, I'll wear my regular sunglasses and not deal with these. And if I wanted music while I did it, I tended to just put my AirPods in. So for me, the value is not there. Now they're talking about doing augmented reality in the future. That's the future. And I don't really see that happening too much either because you can do the same thing with your phone and your headset you wear. You can do that with AirPods or your Bows or, or you know, Jaybirds or whatever you use and sunglasses. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. So for me, for 200 bucks, it's a little bit much. So let me wrap this up. Why am I returning them? I just don't see the value in them. They do provide sun screening for your eyes. They, they're nice, comfortable sunglasses, but at 200 bucks, that's a lot of money, uh, US dollars. If they were like $30 US, I would probably go for it and keep them and use them and play with them. But unless this augmented reality thing is just amazing, uh, which I find it hard to believe, though I'm, I'm not sold on the value of these yet. Maybe they will be in the future. We'll see. For me right now, it's not, and I'm going to return them. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, and um, I'll see you next time I do a video.